History and examination of a person with hypertension. In the history, we ask for symptoms of hypertension, including headaches, blurring of vision. We ask for symptoms of complications of hypertension. We think of coronary artery disease and CKD, so we think of asking for history of angina, history of oliguria, nocturia. Symptoms of etiology of hypertension. We think of essential hypertension, so we're going to ask for a family history of hypertension, increased carbohydrate intake, sedentary lifestyle, increased weight, palpitations, sweating episodes with headache, we think of pheochromocytoma, weight loss, heat intolerance, diarrhea, and a history of goiter, which suggests thyrotoxicosis, a recent pot belly, purple striae on the abdomen, thinning of the limbs in Cushing syndrome, a history of skin rash, joint pains, oral ulcers, Raynaud's phenomenon for autoimmune disease, an intake of pills, which include OCPs, NSAIDs, or steroids, can cause hypertension. We ask for that history. A history of PIH and past pregnancy. Then we ask for history of associations of hypertension, like diabetes and high cholesterol. We ask for other things in lifestyle, like a history of smoking and hypertension. Under examination, we look at the general weight of the patient, the height, the BMI. We look at the blood pressure in both the upper limbs and one lower limb. We check the blood pressure supine first, then sitting up five minutes apart, then standing five minutes apart for any postural drop in blood pressure. We look at the pulse, the quality of the pulse, the rate, rhythm, character, whether it's bounding or not, whether there's radio femoral delay, radio radial delay, and the quality of the vessel wall, whether it's atherosclerosis. We look at the JVP, we look for edema, we look at the neck for goiter, we look at xanthelasma in the eye, tendon xanthomas in the hand. We look at features for Cushing syndrome like a moon face, facial hair acne. We look at palmar flush for polycythemia. In cardiovascular examination, we look for a loud A2 component of S2. We look for a hyperdynamic apex and early diastolic murmur in the aortic area, which would suggest aortic regurgitation. Respiratory system, we look for respiratory rate. If it's high or normal, we look at crackles in the lung basis if we suspect a cardiac failure. In the abdomen, we look for masses a palpable big bellotable kidney would be seen in polycystic kidney disease. Splenomegaly would be seen in polycythemia. We look for a renal artery brui for renal artery stenosis. We look at the fundus. We look for cotton wool spots. We look for papal edema. When there's papal edema, we suggest that is malignant hypertension. The cranial nerve, the CNS examination would include any focal neurological deficit. We would say if there are brisk reflexes or not, whether Babinski is positive or not. A patient with a very high blood pressure with a positive Babinski, we would say the patient has a hypertensive encephalopathy.